All right, guys. So, um, I was, uh, I was fishing, right? I was having my, um, Chips Ahoy cookies. And, um, I was going to go grab some beef jerky, and I saw this mark on the screen. So, I went to try and hit it, and it was in 20... 21-ish feet of water, and he was suspended. I lifted up with my cast master spoon, and boom, he took it. I had a perch at, at the hole. The hook got stuck on the side of the ice, and right back down the hole he went. So, we're getting a little bit of action. I've been marking a few. Um, I had a false tip-up. I thought it was a tip-up, but that was false. I'm not kidding you right now when I said I missed a fish. I just missed a fish. I had it sitting on bottom and I picked it up and it didn't. I didn't even know what was on. It had it just sitting in its mouth. I did not expect that whatsoever. I don't know where this fish is now. But you got to be kidding me. I had him just sitting on the bottom, I had my jig sitting on the bottom, and then I saw like this yellow mark come up. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I'm like, is that the bottom or something? And then I went to go pick up my rod and it felt heavy, so. Hopefully that tungsten jig can do it. I don't know if he's on the dead stick or not. No. Feels like it though. Just got a heavy spoon in there, that's all. I hear this on the bottom again. And I am thirsty. Very thirsty. There you go. I have it sitting on bottom. It's snowing like crazy out there right now as well. Tip up here. I'll show you guys. Pretty crazy, it's actually coming in the shack. But we have a tip up out right there. Hopefully that goes up. But I will have to pull up a fish from 24 feet of water. That's, I'm not excited to do that. Hmm. Tell me that was my only chance. So basically, um, I've been kind of like goofing around kind of, I've kind of been the snowmobiling with my sister, I went back and forth, and then I pulled this monster out of the deeps. Come on. Come on, man. Open up. No. This might take me a while. Boom. Got myself maybe, hold on, 30 centimeter perch. I don't know what you want to call that in inches, but look at this. Okay, unique pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a seven. Seven stripe perch, that's pretty rare. I want it to get an eight, but you know what? That just might have to do. So we'll, we'll do a uh, catch and cook when I get back to the uh, cabin. Boom, that's lunch. Spiky dorsal, nice eyes. So what I'm gonna do is a little trick. I'm gonna cut out the eyeballs of the perch and that's gonna be um, perch bait because apparently perch bait is really, okay, I'm marking another one. I'm gonna stop talking. All right, guys. So basically what I did now is I, uh, I put that perch outside and I just slit his throat. So, and then the meat will be 10 times cleaner when I clean him at the, at the uh, cabin. So it should be good. All this, stick around folks. I will be going into maybe three o'clock. Maybe I have to be back by three, help my grandpa. Help my grandpa unload 
some of the snowmobiles and then I most likely will come out back to this spot for the night. Maybe my grandpa can come with me too. And then, yeah, that'll basically be a whole day of fishing. And I have not marked a single fish since like 9.30 this morning, so it's good to have one back again. Perch cut and pooped all over me too. I'll show you what that uh, perch hit it on too, actually. Oh, hold on. Is that a fish? It's just surface quite. That's surface quite. Come on. Reeled it up too fast, then you get marks on your screen. Zap. Alright, so, okay. So basically, all I was using was a little pink buckshot spoon with just tip with a minnow head, as you can see there. It does have a rattle in it, so when they come up to investigate, I pound it on the spot. And that's what seems to uh, get their attention. And I lift it up away from them, and they get so aggressive. They come up, like, shooting. And then, yeah, they pound it, so... So yes, I did catch a tulipy. It was, I didn't measure it, but it seemed close to a master. I know I'm at what a master tulipy looks like anyways. Excuse me, um, but yeah, it was pretty big. It was about that big. Well, you guys saw a picture of it, so yeah. Since then I got um, Big Jim outside, my perch that I caught. He's doing big things. Um, but yeah, that's basically been it really. guys welcome back uh today is actually day two i think my drags are loose day two of not day two but maybe my fourth fifth day here um i'm at to be to believe to believe bed they call it sorry about that this one is probably not great hold up hold up all right there we go so, I'm at Tulubi Bed here, and uh, apparently this place is known for Tulubi and Catfish too, so we're about 27 and a half feet of water, drag, yeah, that's good, 27 and a half feet of water, so yeah, I don't know, we'll see, Let's see what happens, oh, I'm marking one already, you're joking, oh, got one, instantly, you guys, like instantly, out of the way. going down too. What the hell? The rod's going down too. Guys, I'm I'm hooked up. I'm doubled. Holy crap. I'm hooked up doubled. Put this on. This one's a big bike. Yes! Oh, I'm hooked on myself. I knew that. No! I think I just lost a fish. I don't know if I did. I might have. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Holy crap. Such a mess. Holy, you guys. Such a mess. Okay, I gotta get this fish back. Just on a little buckshot spoon. That spoon came right out. Here we go. Little northern pike hey there. there That's my dad calling me. Alright. There you go. Perfect. He went down. Alright guys, so I just got settled here at this spot and um well, we caught a chunky. He's a little small, I'm gonna keep him. This is kinda like the size that I like to keep. Yeah. I don't know. I'll get a good fill it off of him. Um, but yeah. Chunky perch action. Whoa. Look at the dorsal action on that thing. Jesus. In the sunlight too. Perfect. I'm in 26 feet of water right now. And I just marked one off the bottom. And this chunky guy came and ate it. Oh, not down the hole. Nice. All right.
was just marking a couple seconds ago, but. I was marking two for a second, but one came up and. I'm not going to be able to do it.